night, America. Hear ye, hear ye, servants. <laughs> so let me tell you something about Catherine. Zero filter. Uh, no, I have a filter. Zero. I have a So this Hello. is Stanley. He's the dirt monkey. He makes amazing content. So you oh, guys. Oh, crap. That's a donut? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> they just took a shower in the bathroom yeah. over there. I'm the official National Hardware Show correspondent. Did you know that? I had no clue. Dun dun dun! Wow. No photos. Well, thank goodness I don't carry a photo camera around with me. Just a video camera. No photos. Howdy. Skadoosh. It's on my back. All right, guys. It's day two of the National Hardware Show, and I'm here before everybody else gets in here so I can get through this thing before the crowds start coming in. And uh, you've seen that sign, it said no photos, but I happen to be one of uh, three or four people that are allowed to actually come in and cover this show. Um, and I'm actually gonna introduce you to the gal that got me in, because I didn't do it on my own good looks, that's for sure, that wouldn't get me very far. Uh, but that's not what this show is about. This show is about finding the latest, greatest, coolest stuff out there. And that's our goal today. Okay guys, this is Catherine. This is the gal that actually got me into the show and hooked me up to be one of the hosts. But we're gonna do your favorite find. My favorite find of the show. Well, so I have two. Perfect, This Let's is check my them indoor favorite find. Okay. And then my outdoor favorite find, which we're not gonna be able to go see, is the Ukiah. The GGGG Ukiah. It's a fire feature. The fire dances to music. It's outside. You have to go check it out. Okay, okay. I'll go check it out. It's selling online. I've, only, I've sold about 500 pots so far. Here's the thing about it. this product. Gotcha. It's right here. Gotcha. And, uh, You're going to wish, Stanley, um, that you thought of this product you, because it is so, it is so simple. So, hi, gentlemen. So, this is Stanley. He's the dirt monkey. He makes amazing content. He's a YouTuber, but he's passionate about what he does. Okay, so. Okay. So, Stanley. All right. Every year, I build a haunted house with my son, right? Okay. So I use zip ties on a regular basis. Yep. I'm, also, I'm an environmentalist. When I cut all those little plastic and I throw the plastic away, I don't like that, right? Yep. Wasteful, I'm using, then I gotta go buy a new pack every year, over and over again. Mm -hmm. So I was stocking all of the products. I literally have stocked every product on this floor. Okay. Reusable zip oh, not tie. Okay. Okay. Hi. The, by the way, hi George. He's Hello. used to. Hi George. Nice to meet he's you. used to my crazy by now. <laughs> okay. So, works just like a regular zip tie. Just like a regular zip tie, right? Okay. Okay. Can hold anywhere depending on. So they have three sizes: 50 pounds, 100, 120, and 175. Yep. So okay. for the pros that are really doing it. Look at their videos, like like this. they sent your real zip tie and their zip tie, or I should say a wasteful zip tie and a re-ties. So it just has a super easy, you just push it like this with one thumb. So you, so for my, for your pro, for the pro viewers, the Dirt Monkey, yep. you don't need an extra tool because you would think, okay, we need an extra tool. So again, just like a regular zip tie, any size you need. So they have every, anywhere from, Six six inches to thirty inches, and the thirty six. So six inches to thirty six. Okay. You get the gist. You get okay. The gist, right? Okay. But isn't isn't it amazing? Where where do guys find this at? What's do you have the a short show? answer? Retize.com. Retize.com. <laughs> Thank you, Catherine. I think I need you to come be my. I'm my a sailor. Just Can get you? the word. I'm like. Spit it out. Do you like kittens? Spit it. Do you like long walks on the beach? Do you like cupcakes? <laughs> Bottom line business, ladies and gentlemen. Where do I buy it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Retice. Where do guys go to check com. you out online, though? They go to be the best home.com. Be the best home.com. And, and you're also on Instagram. And they follow me, Catherine Emery, K A T H R Y N E M E R Y TV, on everything. You have a Y in your name and you couldn't y. pronounce retis? Retis. Retis. I'm the official National Hardware Show correspondent. Did you know that? I had no clue. Dun dun dun. Oh. Buddy Dan from Tools in Action, by sheer coincidence, had his rocks are out in Vegas the same time we were covering the National Hardware Show, which gave me my very first chance to actually drive around oh, and see Vegas without being seen. in the back of a taxi. That's the first time I've ever seen an emergency vehicle go down the wrong way 
of a busy yeah, street. They, uh, they, they, they did it on the Vegas Strip. Yeah, they did it yesterday, too. Really? Yeah, on my way in. It's crazy. They can just do that. Yeah, I feel like people get out of their way easier when they're going head at them. Right? <laughs> I suppose. Hey, you can stand up on the seat. It's like Vegas. You can do whatever you want. Just stand directly up. Can I stand on your yeah. seat, though? One thing I found out about Vegas is it's way more fun when you get outside of the buildings. Dan gets pissed twice. I, I brought this product on TV with me. This is the Grover 4000. Hi, how are you guys? Hi, nice to see you. You didn't get me a donut? What the heck? We did. Just kidding. You this check guy's that? not, is this guy, oh my God, by the way, I don't want one. That pink one though, I bought that pink one for my girlfriend the other day. So you oh, guys. Oh crap, that's a donut? Yes. It's got, so that's from Bagel, that's from Bagel Maniac. So this is the Dirt Monkey, Stanley Dirt Monkey. Hi, how's it going? Tim uh, Gross. Nice to meet hey, you, Tim. You? Nice Brian to meet Gross. you, Brian. Okay, so, so we all, will you, will you be my Vanna White for me while I talk about it? So, okay, so, so, I don't know if you know, but Catherine Emery loves light bulbs. I know you she do. She <laughs> loves light bulbs, okay? And she I talks would, about herself in the third person every now and then. Every, okay, the lower the lumens, the better the love life. I'm just gonna leave it at that, right? Okay, so, anything to assist with the light bulb, I'm gonna like extend the category. So, do you have a chandelier up high? Or like, I have coming down my, my stairs, yep. there's three of the five light bulbs are out, and I'm like, eh, it's fine, we got two still working, it'll be good until we can't see and we fall down the stairs and die. <laughs> so that's where the Grover 4000, by the way, we need to work on your name. I don't love the name, just letting you guys know. Is your name Gro? Oh, it's the your last name. Because it doesn't say what it does. It should be like it should be like the grabber. Okay, and it go does this go underneath? Oh, got it. You guys see By the way, I don't I don't like your last name. <laughs> <laughs> I love your product, but your last name's kinda really no, bad, guys. No, 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 Tim Grover. No, no. <laughs> viewers, viewers, dirt monkey viewers. I clearly well, let me let me tell you something about Catherine. Zero filter. Uh, no, I have a filter. Zero. I have a filter. I had a filter for the 18 years I worked at Home Depot. Oh, and, and when I left off? my badge at the door, I was like, yeah, and here's the corporate robot, blah, blah, blah. Bye bye. I'm going to say what I want. I'm going to wear what I want. I'm going to say what I want. Yes, maybe there's a little too much of everything happening. You're welcome, America. You're welcome. In the it's 9 30 in the morning. We are not the, drunk. I'm the telling you. There's a, there's a sh letter of Grovers in the world, man. There's only, we, we skipped over 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 to get you this. You're welcome, ladies and gentlemen. But isn't it so simple? It's so smart. Again, why didn't I think of this? Why didn't I think of this? All right, where, where can guys find this at? We are currently not selling it. We're, these are 3D printed models. We hope to be selling it January, February time frame. You can go to Grover4000.com and uh, once we're up in production, we'll be selling there. Or bulbgrabber.com. We'll, we'll get on the horn and figure out a new name before they go to market, okay? Just saying. <laughs> I need a Grover. Whatever it takes. I need a Grover Brothers sandwich for that, right? <laughs> I love you. I just hate the name of your products. <laughs> All right, guys. Catherine's gonna show us one more. She's gonna have time. Too far. One more. This one. Hi. 
Hi. Can I use you for a second? Sure. This is Dirt Monkey. Hi. Dirt Monkey. Nice Stan to meet you. Stan is his first name. Stan. I want to show him the chair. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. okay. Hi. Hi. This is Stan the Dirt Monkey. Hi, this Stan is the Dirt Monkey. Stacy and Jules. Okay, so number one. Come here. Give me, give me a Stacy Jewel. I mean, number one, like, aren't they like, aren't they like so adorable? Like, <laughs> like, look at, like, we're besties already. We are besties. We just look like we should. Are we like the National Hardware Show spokeswomen officially? Mm -hmm. We Pretty should much. be because we make cool shit at the hardware show. Just letting at you know. Am I allowed to say well, that? Well, it will, it will be edited out. Okay, how about this? We are. The, we make really cool. These these two ladies sold everything they own. They moved into a trailer. And they put all of their money in the product you're well, about let's to call see. Well, an RV. Not a trailer. <laughs> <laughs> a tent with a flap. Cut that. Cut that. <laughs> just, they just took a shower in the bathroom yeah. over there because they <laughs> spit, 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 spit on Stacy. <laughs> <laughs> <off. laughs> Make people feel bad I'll for us. I'll bring you a microfiber order. towel. You can use it over it. <laughs> Still, they sold everything they own, and they put all their money into what you're about to see. Are you guys ready? Who's ready? Okay, let's go. All let's right. go. All right. Demo. Here's my demo girl. So it goes from a cot, it, I mean a cart to a cot, a lounger, a recliner, beach chair. See, beach chair, high back chair. Can we hire you? When we get to the when we get to the clean chair. So think about it. You're going camping. You're going to the beach. You got stuff. You got stuff to carry, right? So it starts as a cart, right? Mm -hmm. Can you show me it completely folded up and then let's say you want to haul it to the beach, yeah. how what that position would yep. look like? So I'm going to start over. Okay. We were in, that was it. Okay, so um, I, want, I want you to explain the different positions yeah, let, as let we go through this. So here's the thing. This is storage mode. That's storage mode. Okay, but, so now we're folded up. But, get this. You can take the tires off, quick release, take the axle out, and then you can go to even a smaller footprint. Okay. And these tires are actually really important. They're the only ones that actually roll on any kind of terrain, including soft sand. These are not hard plastic no, tires. Sand, uh, these are actually yeah. have a little bit of give. They're like a twill. Yep, yep they're like a twill. Yep. So, now, did you guys come up with this design for the tires, or...? or? No, no, we didn't. Um, <laughs> so you yeah. outsource these and look for these Absolutely. specifically. During so this, COVID, so this is happening. not... That's they're right. not the cheap, crappy tires. That's I want right. to make sure I point that out. Okay, so now we were in storage mode. Now what is this mode We're right going to go up to cart mode. So this. She's going to open it up into what this is right here. So that's cart and chair mode too, well, right? Well, yeah. we're going to get to this, but this is cart mode. It comes with the big bungee net. Okay. So feel how light that is to pull. Yeah. Thank you, stranger. <laughs> I'm just holding the camera out. Somebody grabs it from me. This is actually really fast. Nice. I'm kidding. Wow. It turns really easy. It does yeah. turn really easy. Well, it's thank a, you. Oh, I would have held that for you. Sorry, I was, so I was then, blog. When you unload it, okay. you flip these out. This is your U leg. These are your sand legs. Okay. This is, not, this is just the beginning of us. We're going to go into a recliner. Okay. And then we're going to go into is, camping cot. So you put a mat on this, we recess the bars. So you can't you can't feel the bars. You can't feel the bars. No, you can't feel the bars. Okay, so you're not laying on you're not laying on bars all night long. Okay. So you put a camping mat on it and it's super comfortable. And that what is this called, ladies? Right. This is called the wonder. So then Oh, you got more positions? Oh yeah, we're not done yet. <laughs> Good night, America. Hey, you, here you here you servants. Okay. So then it goes back up to where when Catherine was sitting in it. You have your higher off the ground camping type chair. And so it comes with the double armrest. These are eucalyptus. So those just slide right in and out. They slide right in and out. But uh, wait, there's more. So you, you're at the But beach, wait, there's more. And you want to sit lower to the ground. You just flip it around and now you have a low beach chair. You have a low back. Low or you beach can have a chair. High back. Mm -hmm. yep. Or you can do a high back. You can recline it. It's like the transformer of beach chairs. It really yeah. is. Um, but it's I, great for camping, tailgating, fishing, 
all that. Festivals, anything where you need a, to haul something and then have seat options once you Is get there. Is there a website that yeah. these guys can Yeah, omegear.com. What, what? Omegear.com. That's the Wanderer, right? The wanderer, yes. Thanks, ladies. Thank We're going to look for everything we can. Post saver. Good, huh? How about you? You're like, oh, fence armor, right? Fence armor and post saver, yes. Okay. You this, ever heard of it? Absolutely. So you put this at the bottom of your fence post. Yeah. And then the guys that are mowing, blowing, trimming, they're not beating their posts up, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. And then the post saver. Uh, extends the life of your wood fence post for uh, by 20 years. How and why? So it's a bitumen uh, product. It's an asphalt byproduct that you heat shrink onto the post before you put it in the before ground. Before you put it in the ground, and then it uh, prevents oxygen, microorganisms, and moisture from entering into the post. Can't get at it. Can't you can't rot it. it. Nope. Through capillary action, cannot go up through the uh, bottom center of the post, and it prevents it from uh, coming in the sides. So you don't have to seal the bottom? Nope. Because it won't, won't let it travel up? Only, um, so for a utility pole, so we have it for the utility poles as well. Okay. And that would be six inches above grade, 30 inches below grade. For this one, uh, same, like about three inches above, and then 20 inches below. Very good. Fence armor and post saver. Yes, sir. All right, thank yeah. you. Thank you. buy something.